Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. How are we all doing? I hope you're all well. How am I doing, you say? Well, it's the first weekend of the Premier League and it's finally over and I'm doing great. And I feel like really where we should start off is the uh, the big shock of the weekend coming in the early game, actually, which is uh, Fulham 2, Liverpool 2. But I feel like first we should go on to Fulham because obviously they, they gained the point at home in the first game of the season. We didn't really know what sort of Fulham side would come out of it. And it really does feel like Mitrovic is showing the Premier League quality that he showed a couple of seasons ago. You know, he really wasn't playing under Scott Parker a couple of years ago. Ivan Cavallero was starting ahead of him. Not really sure why. That's why he only got three goals. And he got two already this campaign. And the times, it really did show that he was bullying Van Dijk, which is something that you never hear about. And something quickly to say is Paulinho. What a player he is. He is the midfield maestro. He's the one that's conducting the foundation of the high press, which Fulham did against Liverpool and it really worked well for them. The question I have for Fulham fans is that are they a Premier League side? Like last time they came up a couple of years ago, they, they didn't spend that well. You know, they, they spent a lot of money on a lot of players, but this time they really seem to be efficient on how they're spending it. They were a Premier League side last season in the Championship already with Mitrovic firing already. It seems like a good start and a good foundation for the campaign that got forward. Now on to Liverpool. Now I feel like one word I can actually you know, completely summarise this whole fixture for them. And it is arrogance. You know, they beat City last week and it really showed that they are a side that City could, should be troubled by. But I feel like because it, it took too long for them to start the game, Klopp even mentioned that it's the first time that they've not been mentally prepared for a game. And it really did show that in the arrogance for the first 45 minutes. To reiterate, it took them way too long for them to start in this game. Firmino looked leggy in the first half, only having one touch in the opening 45 minutes in the opposition box and then comes the sub you know Darwin Nunes and Elliot coming on in the first half really did change for them you know as, a, as a, only a 22 year old Darwin, Darwin Nunes really does remind me of a, a, a rude Van Nistelrooy reincarnated you know he's instinctive in the box you know he seems like he wants the ball every time he's there having eight touches in 39 minutes compared to Firmino's one touch in uh, 51 minutes and it feels like that Salah can actually breathe on the right hand side whereas it seems like he was doing way too much to um, do all the pressing himself, do all the creativeness himself. And Nunes really needs to fill the void that Mane is, um, has left Liverpool. You know, it's early doors and we're, we're talking about knee-jerk reactions. And he's, he's had two games now where he, he's changed the game both times. He, he came on this game and he, he, he created the only sort of creative output for Salah, who seems to be the the only one that was pushing for a goal for um, Liverpool. And you can't have one person against ten. <laughs> it's impossible, isn't it? And, you know, we talk about Nunes, he's, he's a tall man, which comes with its caveat, like we say that he's a good, he has a good touch for a big man. Now, throughout the season and the way he can develop as quick as he is, can he be the person that has a good touch instead of a good touch for a big man? And there is a big difference between the two. One last thing that I will say about Liverpool is that the ageing midfield, they had Harvey Elliott on the pitch, but they did have Henderson, Thiago and Milner at one point, and they're all in the 30s, they're all pushing for it. And it almost seems they need a, you know, a player from Dortmund, say, an Englishman uh, called Jude, you know? Um, and I feel like Klopp has really... Uh, he tried to get Tuchmeni as well, and he's gone to Real Madrid. He apparently went to Melwood, had a look round, and Real Madrid just came in with a mad offer. So I feel like Klopp's just waiting for that signing, you know? They always do make the signings that they really do want, and it's time will tell whether they do do that in this window or the next one but they desperately need him so that was my reaction to the game Nunes is he the answer for you this season Fulham are you going to survive with the high press it's a long season ahead for you but it's a good start it's a good foundation for you and let's not let's just simmer Liverpool fans let's just hope that City can drop some points soon because they will need it so I hope you all guys like this video please like subscribe and comment below peace